So let's walk through the logic of this question. We have a positive plate on the top, and we have, therefore, a negative plate on the bottom. Now we know the electric field always goes from positive to negative. Now, due to gravity, we know this particular particle has to have an Fg this way. And in order for it to be balanced, it has to have its Fe this way. Now, if this particle had a positive charge, would the electric field be pointing up? Absolutely not. This particle would want to naturally go down towards the negative plate. So therefore, what I've drawn has to be incorrect. It has to be a negatively charged particle here because otherwise it's not going to attract upwards. So A, the answer has to be a negatively charged particle. Now, how do we quantify this? Well, we know in this particular case that the, oop, the force of the electron is equal to force gravity, which means Q times the electric field is equal to mg. We also know that the electric field is delta V over R. Now what we're asking for is we're asking for charge. So I'm going to rearrange this equation. So Q is equal to mg R over delta V. And I've got all this information right here. We know the mass is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 15, 9.8. We have 0 0.025, and our voltage is 460. And when we go ahead and we plug this into our calculator, we get a value of 8 times 10 to the negative 19 C. So for part C, how many excess or defective deficit electrons does the sphere have? Well, we're going to use our formula Q is equal to NE. So we know the total charge in this particular case is 8 times 10 to the negative 19. We don't know N, but we know the little e is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 C. So when I figure this out and I divide these two together, I end up with an answer of 5. So it's got 5 extra electrons.